start recording. Oh, man. I kind of do like this layout a little bit better. Oh, do you? Good. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, we we were playing, you know, anyway, we'll talk about it here in a bit. So I'm going to shut up so I can start the show. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your triple threat couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. February 5th, 2018. And this is episode 224. Man, I was a pro this week. I think I'm getting back into the swing. I'm telling you, man, it's like triple threat. I mean, okay, okay. why are we in triple threat? Because we've done it three weeks in a row. Oh, I thought you meant we could sing, dance, and act. Oh, we can also sing, dance, and act. We, we cannot do any of those things. I could play the ukulele. I can sing and I can dance. Mm. And guess what? We are live. We are live. We are back live. So between the, the hours of 9 and about 9.30, that's probably when we're going to have to start doing our live shows. Yeah. Um. You know, the girls will finally settle down. If I have to work at Westport, I can get home, get settled in, change my clothes, and get saved. Yeah, there's no hard time we're doing this yeah and that's kind of i know some people are like oh man can you you know i kind of feel bad a little bit because Why? i mean some people probably like a regularly scheduled program it is regularly scheduled it's between i mean a half hour <laughs> window is pretty darn amazing it, it is me. it is so it is. so i mean no we're not any morning streams starting you know yeah. Promptly. I mean, it's not like we get paid for this either. Exactly. We don't have well, sponsors either. Guess what? I didn't mute my phones. No, I didn't either. But I have learned something. I don't even know where my phone is, so. My hmm. Windows. Oh, you you brought your phone in when you brought your iPad. So, um, oh. so while we're uh, sitting here, who do we have with us? Ah, uh, Eric. In the Valentine. Eric Mahler is here. What's Woo! going on, Eric? What's going on? And I That's know crazy. I. I know I threw some people off earlier today um, because I started streaming a little earlier because as we talked about last week, I was going to, so we used to use XSplit and I say we used to use XSplit because now we're using OBS. OBS has come a very long way of what it once was. Um, and we paid for XSplit because I wanted better audio quality when I would put up the stream. But XSplit just kind of just, I don't know, it's, it's really nice. It, it is really nice. So um, I just want to say thank you for um, Zobby and Aaron showing up while I was playing a little Overwatch and JK showed up as well. Um, also, I'm going to ask folks, you know, I like to have some nice overlays. Someone teach me how to do some overlays, or if you want to do some overlays, just be creative, you know. I kind of like this, you like, are you watching it? You see the little Valentine cast, like, like a I little, see it. like a little retro. Yeah, it looks kind of like Fallout for some reason. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm trying to feel, I don't know, but, but I actually. I'm feeling Fallout. I but I, I kind of like it a little bit. It's like a, a little retro thing going on. But yeah. Um, Eric said that even even TMS starts late or early on occasion. So on occasion. I mean, so it's best to kind of watch the Twitter feed. Yeah, um, if you can. Just, just keep an eye out. Yeah, keep an eye out, and we're feeling real good about doing all this. So, um, it's crazy that we're weekly though. When we were every two weeks, and then when, then we jump back into it, and then weekly. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, you've missed it. Yeah, it's like before. 
I was like, we don't have everything to talk about. Well, no, I still don't. But, you know, I can just talk about just anything. Right. Doesn't have to have. Doesn't have to be stuff that has happened because you know we don't do much. Right. Which is, it's hilarious. It, it's it, it's so funny. The other day, it's like so. Zoe is like me, as in Zoe can spend her whole day in her jammies on the couch playing iPad and watching TV the right. entire day. Right. Maya is. I'm much, ready to eat. Is like I'm me. ready to. It's time put to clothes eat. on. Let's put she's clothes like, on. She's like, I'm ready to go. Where are, are we, we going, going to today? Costco? <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> she's like, and then it's like, like oh. it's like, and if we didn't go anywhere, it's kind of like, did you have fun today, Maya? Where did we go? <laughs> like, uh, did we go anywhere that right. it would constitute fun? So, Maya is definitely her father's child. Now. Yeah, I, I will admit she is very much like like me on, on that point. So, um. It's been kind of kind of chilled and relaxed this week. Actually, I'm 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 not gonna lie. I'm I'm lying when I say it's chilled and relaxed. Yeah, you. Went I had a bad week. Yeah, <laughs> I had you, a really you, you had a rough week. Really, really rough week. Um, and if you guys are like in the taboo confessions, I kind of laid it all out there because I'm not gonna lay everything else out out here. Um, there will be some things I'm gonna lay out. Let's just say Monday was a stressful day as a parent when you worry about your child. And um, it was scary, you know, and you feel helpless and you don't know what you're going to do. But um, but she's good. She put out, a, my oldest put out an episode of her Teach Me How to College. It's cute. I loved it. Yeah. She, um, go ahead. It's like I do... I I appreciate people who can put their feelings just out there. Yeah. On things. It's yeah. Just so goofy though. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes with life, I mean, you just kind of have to laugh at yourself. I mean, that's that was my Tuesday mm-hmm. when I made a mistake at work. You know, and I've been there. It affected some folks, and you know, I was kind of like, it was one of those things where when it happened. And you kind of start hearing some bubbles of someone, someone complaining about something. It's kind of like, oh man, something's going on, and everything. You kind of like, oh my gosh, I think I just did it, and you reverse to what you just did, mm-hmm. and it's kind of like, then it's like open up a bridge, everything else, and it's like, you have two options. You know, you either just be like, take ownership and be like, this is what I did. Or two, you don't say anything and you hide and hope they don't figure it out. That's the worst thing you could do. So, and you just waste everybody's time. You waste the company's money and everything else. And I appreciate, I appreciate my team, you know, Mm -hmm. because they not once said, this is what happened. You know what I'm saying? They were actually trying to be like, let's just try to figure out how to fix it and everything else. Yeah. And not and, and kind of just go around not saying something happened. Because they didn't know. Right. And, well, they, did, they didn't know I was doing it at that time. You know what I'm saying? But I did say before I was like, I, before the call up, I said, I think I did it. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know what? We got on the call. Vendor got on the call. And I was like, I don't know if this is what it could have been, but this is what I did. I went through everything. And they were like, yep. <laughs> you know, and it's just one of those things where, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and beat around the bush about it. Because yeah, yeah. It's But do you know that feeling you get when you realize it's something you did? Mm-hmm. Your stomach drops. You go cold. That was funny because, you know, there were some things I had to do, you right. know, lessons learned and everything else, and talk to my manager and director and stuff. We right. had a few meetings and stuff, and we were talking about it, and that was one of the <laughs> questions that that Steve asked. Really? He was like, so what did you think when you finally realized, when, when it came up and said that it was something, it could have been something you'd done when you realized Yeah. It? And I was like, dude, I was just like, holy F. Dude, you know that feeling and you know within like a minute and i was like 
I don't think that's what I did. I don't think that was mine. Right. But just in case, I'm going to change it back. You know what I'm saying? It was right. one of those things. You know, it wasn't one of those things where it's like, ah, you know what? That can't be me. I usually think it's me. So I kind of. <laughs> so right. But, but yeah, that feeling like blood rushes to your ears and, and you just it's, it's a terrible feeling. And the piece and the part, too, that I didn't even tell my managers was that when it happened, I had gotten another call from from my from my um, from Brianna's mom. Mm hmm. And something else was going on. Right. You know, and it kind of distracted just... me a little bit. And I wasn't thinking straight. And at that point, when I saw something, when the the stuff I was doing, when I, like all the testing I have done, I had done up to it, right? So I had done all this testing, 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 and all these scenarios. And then there was this one scenario that didn't match anything that I did. At that point, I should have stopped mm -hmm. and said, I need to take this back to the test environment. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I should have done that. But you, you know how I am sometimes. Yeah. You, you, and you know what? I could probably fix it. It's just a little tweak right here. All right here. Wow. You know. Okay, I would not do that. But You know. I'm so. terrified of any time I do anything in the production. But. I mean, I am too. I am too. But you know what? It, it's just one of those things where it's got to be, you need to, I need to be 100% sure and I need to make sure it's tested. I mean, the, again, things that, things you learn, you know, yeah. and I, and you make mistakes. I mean, we all do. I've been in IT since 97, 97, baby. 97, 1997. That's the year that I graduated college. That was. So. I mean, high school, rather. Was that 21 years? Is that 21 years? It's a long time. And, you know, you know, I can count on two fingers, you know, things I've done to, you know. Yeah. I've luckily gotten a lot better. Yeah. I still push bugs out in the prod. Well, so. bugs is a little different a little bit, But, I yeah. But, I mean, honestly, I never really change. Anytime I change anything, I am so hyper aware. Oof. But anyway, oh yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> you getting you getting anxious? No, no, no. I'm good. Um, yesterday was Super Bowl, and oh we, yeah, and we celebrated. We quote did. unquote celebrated our our little four person family with little mini tacos and fancy pigs in a blanket. <laughs> These were like fancy bougie pigs. They in had a like blanket. was Puff that like pastry. Parmesan cheese on the top? Maybe. It was like little cocktail wieners. Oh, it was cocktail wieners. Yeah, it was I know cocktail it was that. Wieners cocktail wieners puff wieners. pastry. Yes. I was like, I would have been cool with just like little hot dogs and and freaking uh Were you going to make rolls. them? Huh? Were you going to make them? No. Okay, then. You know and what I thought about getting pizza though? rolls. I thought about molten getting... Molten lava rolls. I thought about getting corn dogs, mm. but they didn't have any. So, so That's yeah. Um, that was fun. Um... The, uh, I did get to make a funny on the... On, so we had an issue at work this morning. It, not involving me. <laughs> right. And it was funny because I was spelling out one of the server names. And I was like, WPS01. And I was like, you know, P is in Philadelphia. <laughs> and every, I got a bunch of items from people. Really? They were laughing. <laughs> Freaking Philadelphia! Was like eighty people on the call. They destroyed that city. Oh, destroyed it. Did Dude. they? I know they tried. I saw where they, someone had turned over some cars. Were turned yeah, over. they were. They, they, they were jumping up and down on awnings, like the hotel awnings. They were burning things. They were looting. So they really? Yeah. I I didn't even. They were even burning. Know. They were looting. Some guy ate horse poop on camera. Literal horse poop on camera. Like, they went insane in Philadelphia. Dude, it's crazy. It's nuts. <laughs> it's terrible. Are you looking to see if I'm telling the truth? I'm so telling the truth. No, the Super Bowl riots. They already... Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much riots. Like, Jay even said, either way, Philadelphia were burned. Well, and somebody else has said that. It's, it was it just is like... pretty much true. 
Oh, God. I watched it. I was rooting for the underdog. I don't care. I don't watch football, but the underdog is fun to root for. Fire in the streets, smash windows, flip cars, light poles, talk about alcohol fueled crowds. <laughs> Philadelphia woke this morning after the triumph of Super Bowl Sunday to a city in disarray. Like, <laughs> and the vexing question, what is it about sports that make fans riot? Yeah, seriously. Why do you tear up your own city? You have to live there. Why are you tearing up your own city? That makes no sense whatsoever. So, so, I'm, reading, so I'm reading this article here. So this is the, uh, here, I'm going to put it in the, um, in the chat, in the, um, um, Twitch chat there, and 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 it, and it talks about said when do fans most often tend to riot? So it says, um, sport fan violence occurs all over the world, but the American fan is unusual in a few ways. Man, um, unlike European soccer hooligan, hooligan hooliganism, in which fans of opposing teams often hurt each other. Right, fan writing in the United States is usually limited to vandalism or violence directed in animated, in, in animated objects. Uh. <laughs> what is it? They're nuts. Oh man, this is like they toppling. It. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna uh, see. I'm, I'm getting here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let me let me pause this music real quick, real quick. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something, babe. Can I try something? It's I mean, and, I I mean, you say, can I try something? I'm gonna try something as you try. Something. I'm gonna try some OBS here as you try something. All right, so click here, and then I can do display capture. Display capture. Oh, I think it's showing. Is that it right there? All right, look at this. Sorry, Eric. I'm going to go back and turn it down. Oh, what? Is that it? Was that it? That was it? Okay. Sorry, Eric. I didn't mean to blow your eardrums. Right. I didn't. Are you sure you want to remove this? Sorry, Eric. Or anyone else that may have been watching. I didn't mean to blow your eardrums. I didn't expect it to be that loud. Man, they are, they are bananas, Eric. I, I, I agree. They, I agree. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't know, babe. I, I just don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I don't get it. <laughs> but I mean, it was fun. It was, it was hilarious to see how much the announcers were on the Patriot side, no matter what. I'm like, you could just tell, well, he could still win if he, da, 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 da. You, you know, and it's like, okay, dude, we get it. Y'all are Brady fans, but Brady looks so sad, though. Of Babe. course he looks sad. But he looks so sad. I so, want to be like, hey, you won too. You're all right. So what we we're talking about this um, at work a little bit, um, Todd and I, and the funny part is, is, um, when the cameras would show, um, what's Giselle? What's her name? What's Brady's wife's name? Giselle. Yeah. Giselle, like Giselle, Bunchen. huh? Bunchen, I think it is. Bunchen. Like Bean. she, she was like in this box seat with the glass with the owner, and you know she was, you know, Queen B. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And so you know Foles was like the backup quarterback. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he was the backup quarterback. And, like, his – all the Philadelphia fa- um, players' wives were, like, sitting out in the stands yeah. with, in jerseys, not behind glass. And, like, she had, you know, somebody had, like, their – had, like, a toboggan or skull cap or – Now, if she wasn't famous, she might have been out. Like, she's famous. I don't know. She's a supermodel, like supermodel I don't status. Know, man. So maybe if she wasn't famous, 
she wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> she might would. I don't know, man. I mean, because and you know, like, like Bradley C- Cooper was behind glass. Well, you know, Madden, um, Madden, I think it was Madden um, 18, the football game, the yes. arcade one. You have the GOAT edition, and it has Brady on the front of his arm spread out. Oh, like, goodness. Jesus, like, yes, NFL Jesus has arrived, you know. Wow, NFL Jesus. But, yeah, so I think the funniest part was when someone said, Patriots lose, America wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Take it easy, man. All right, see Eric's got to go get something to eat. Tell the family we said hi. But yeah, so I'm actually, you know, Renee watched. Renee been talking about some uh, foosball and stuff yeah, like look, that. Look at me. But look um, at you. <laughs> look, look at me. But um, so I can now break the news. Uh, we were. I think I mentioned just before that we were. I don't know if we were bought, merged. I think we were sold. Yeah. Basically. Something happened. Yeah. And uh, we merged with Navicure. So mm-hmm. now we are known as Waystar because we are the, you know, I don't know what they said. They gave us, I don't know. I didn't like the reason they gave. But uh, unfortunately, the colors are orange, mainly orange. It's mm-hmm. ugh. I just don't like it. I'm just not a fan. But so there's orange everywhere. But um our new CEO is very excited about Way about Waystar. Because his golden I, parachute. I keep almost calling it Wayfair. Because his but, golden parachute. It, uh, I don't know, but the he there's a social media contest where you're supposed to say hashtag Waystar Pride and you say something awesome about Waystar or something like okay. that. Okay. And what's the contest? I don't know. I didn't read it thoroughly because I wasn't going <laughs> to. Well, you get like. I'll send it to you tomorrow. But you get any money? Yeah, I think so. But dude, their recognition program—it's insanely awesome. You get five hundred dollars. Nice. Not Amazon, just five hundred dollars. Nice. That's very nice. It is nice. Um, I didn't get anything. <laughs> so um, it's it's different trying to tread through the waters of uh, company soon after a merger. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff you gotta do. Luckily, I feel needed. So, <laughs> I'm not too worried. But I just know I got a lot of, like, some, like, this is one of those weeks where it's busy. Right. I, I can tell. I got a lot of stuff going on. So, um, yeah. So, Waystar, I don't, no one probably, probably have, has heard of it. We're supposed to say Navicure and Zermet when we say Waystar. What? We're supposed to let people know that it's Navicure and Zermet when we tell people we work for Waystar. Okay. So that people know. All right. We have very specific things. But, uh, so, you know, so I now work yes. for Yes, that's very them. interesting. <laughs> I want to talk about the girls. All right, so because we haven't talked about them in a while, and man, they have, they have changed. They've changed. They they've grown. They so have much. grown. Hey, Hendo. Yeah, what's Hendo's going on, Sorry, Hendo? Yeah. In the Valentine. What's it, up? Yeah, I we are live. Yeah. I showed. This is like the third one, man. Well, this well, is the, the third first one, one, but first live. This is the first live show. The first live show. So, we've so yeah, it's been a bit. But all right, we just ahead. haven't talked about the girls in a while, and they because are, they're so horrible. Okay, they are three and a half. Yes, they are, and going on sixteen half the time. Well, depends who you have. Sometimes they say things that are so grown up, and other times they act like they are like one and a half. Right. So it's like it's like it's, it, it just jumps all over the place. But right. they're super smart, and they remember things. And they get mad if you go back on your word. Which, as they should. As they should. But now I I can't tell them something and think that they'll forget the next day. No. Nope. No. That ain't happening no nope, more. Nope. Because they had show and tell one day. And I had to go <laughs> install. I had to go install the um, the the new TV they had gotten. So I had to go mount it. Right. And so that morning for Christmas they got um, Paw Patrol remote control cars. Mm-hmm. Well, the battery on both of them have ran out, 
but there was other remote control car that was kind of like one of those remote control cars that has one button two buttons one to go forward one to go back and when it goes backwards it kind of backs up you know you kind of back it up to make it go the direction you wanted to go and then you go forward so the Zoe was like I'm taking this and Maya was like well I'm gonna take a what she take a book yeah she took the wow water book it's yeah, a she book took like that, a, a, yeah. yeah a wow water book that it it's like a water book and it comes with like a magic pen or something like that so we get there and I tell Maya you know what because Maya was kind of sad you know a little bit you know she's like I want a remote control car she was trying to trade it with Zoe and stuff Aww. and Zoe was like nah bro <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. I don't want that. She's like, I love Maya, how Maya tries to trade. Maya was like, you know, you want this. Like Zoe's like, no. What is a what is a profession where somebody can convince like someone that they want it even though they really don't? That's, um, Google it while I'm while I'm ta- okay, telling the story. Right, um, right. I mean, a hustler. <laughs> She's a hustler. <laughs> she makes you think that you want some even if you don't <laughs> she's like she woos people she can she tries to woo zoe she woos she woos renee all the time she does I, i'm just gonna let you, everyone oh, she know does. she woos renee so oh I've, my god i've i've become harder on her though if you've noticed <laughs> you haven't noticed i've become harder on her i'm telling you the truth <laughs> whatever i am still maya's boo at the moment no yeah Yeah. no Maya's your boo because (laughs) (laughs) Maya's no one's boo (laughs) Maya is her own boo no you (laughs) you (laughs) see she she, see she makes me think that I'm her boo but in reality yeah she playing you (laughs) she playing you son she playing you she like she like this I got mommy like this, like this. Okay. <laughs> at night, we said, Mama, sleep with us. I mean. I look at, I'd be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> good night. And I walk out. Mama, sleep with us. No, so every, like, okay. So. Okay. But so the thing is with me, it's like, <laughs> I do it every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Right. It makes it special. Right. But not saying it doesn't make it special for you all. Yeah, but I they just, just got I, you. Yeah, I just at least I don't lay in there for like an hour anymore. Yeah, I lay in there for like five minutes and I'm done. And, but, uh, and they even say, "Are you gonna lay for five minutes?" <laughs> I'm lay for five minutes. <laughs> they have no concept of what five minutes really is. So, they just know I'm gonna stay in there. So go. going back to the story of the car. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, Maya's upset. You know, I'm like, okay, it's show and tell. It's Friday. I know I'm coming back. And I was like, all right, Maya, check it. I'll go get the batteries for the car. We have batteries. I'll bring them. I'll bring the cars back. And so I wasn't going to bring one Paw Patrol. I was going to bring both of them. But I know Maya wanted it. So work happens. I'm working, 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 working. And I'm like, oh, man, I need to go put the TV up because I'm working half a day. I leave. Boom. And I forget to get, get the cards. And I'm like, oh, man, I forgot the cards. Ah, Renee was like, ah, Maya won't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man. Never again will I say that. I was ever. like, okay, if you say so, but. I was wrong. I pull in. I walk in. Daddy, you got my car? You know, oh, baby, I forgot the car, you know. Where you use the water book? And then they went and did show and tell, and she just pouted in the corner. And <laughs> before I left to go ahead and come back and get something, they were like, uh, Miss uh, Miss Man was like, "Can you make sure that her dad gets the car <laughs> when he comes back?" Because Mike was really sad and didn't want to play with anything else, so she was just sitting there while everybody was playing. She was just, I ain't gonna. Nope, she was just. She was just. Maya is. And <laughs> Miss Man was like, "I feel so sad for her," and I was like, "I was like, I was gonna be like, she be alright." <laughs> and then you. Gave it. I went and got it because it was affecting someone else. And then two, she remembered. And then three, I did tell Miss Amanda I was gonna bring the car back. Yeah. So that there, there, there it was. I mean, also I did say it mainly because I did say it. I should have brought it because one, I said I was gonna do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, when it comes down to it, that's 
that's the whole moral of the thing. I said I was going to do it, and I needed to do it. <sighs> and Zoe is sick at yep. the moment. She has a fever. So I'm staying home from work tomorrow. And uh, take it to the doctor. Hopefully it's not the flu. And hurrah. Um, but they're really fun. I love I love that they're into trains. Yep. Trains is their biggest love right now. They love those train sets. They do. They love to build things with yep. them. And they like their Legos. And they like their big building blocks. They like to build things. And, of course, the, you know, I love that because STEM, I'm all about STEM. Right. And then they also love their music too. They, yeah, they love their classical little Einstein music, so they like so they're into steam too. Yeah. Steam. Yeah. Steam. steam. Yeah, steam. Um uh, and so then yeah, they're so they're, they're awesome. I can't think of anything else. Did I talk about putting up the uh the the ring two doorbell last week? Nope. This is nope. You didn't talk didn't. about the ring at all. Yeah, so I installed a um, a video doorbell. It's pretty doggone awesome. I kind of like it. Do you like it, Renee? I do. It's a little distracting when it goes off and nothing happens. Like well, you can turn it off. You can turn the motion but stuff then, off. But then, I want to know if someone comes to the door. <laughs> if someone legit comes to the door, if they I ring the know. doorbell, no. If they just put a package down the door, they don't, right? They ring the doorbell about half the time. I really want to know if somebody comes up to the door. I do too. But, so it doesn't bother me that much. So, I mean, if it's like, you know, every now and then, then that's that's totally fine. So, um, so we got the ring to the doorbell and we uh, finished season four of The Wire. Yeah. And uh, it was sad. Heart, I'm just going to say, heart-wrenching. I know some people... Are going to Part be, of me is like, can we even just say it? You can just say that somebody. Died. I mean, okay. You say your favorite, per, okay, your look, favorite corner boy died. Hey y'all, yeah, my favorite corner boy died. You know what? I can say it. Anybody who wants to watch The Wire and doesn't want to get spoiled, just skip ahead like a minute. Bodie got shot two oh. times, point blank in the head, and I was so sad. Yeah. I've, been with, I, I've been rolling with Bodie since the very beginning, and he was... So what was it about I Bodie? Did, I don't know. Did he remind you of, like... So did he remind you of, like... So for me, Bodie reminded me of, like, the 90s, the cool 90s kid, you know, that was, like, a, like you know, music group, like so, like from Criss Cross or... No, no, he was just... I think it was his attitude. Like, he was able to see different sides of things. Right, right. He said I had a pleasant meal with freaking cop. Yeah. And they talked about like, he was just able to just do that. Did he remind you of me, babe? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can see different sides. Yes, you can, but but still he didn't remind me of you. <laughs> I liked uh, him too because yeah, because, you him. know, he, he, yeah, I, I liked him. He, he was, uh, you know, yeah, it was kind of sad. I, 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 you know, yeah. I, I admit I was sad too. Uh, I, I liked him. I thought he was funny. Yeah, you know. He, yeah, he was funny. He wasn't too serious. He wasn't always like, uh, uh, uh. I'm, I'm hard, you know. Yeah. Gangster, gangster, gangster. Exactly. You know. He just like, hey man, yeah. He got the little kids making runs and stuff like that. Shouldn't be, but he wasn't like, you know, like put your ass over there somewhere else. Or he wasn't like, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? So, he was, you know, he. I think he was, I mean, up until he didn't run, he was street smart. Yeah. So, anyway, is that a minute? Probably a minute. So. Yeah, it is a minute. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that that's the wire, you know. Well, we, 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 um, have we started season five? The first? Nope, nope, not yet. Oh, that's tonight. So, Tonight. so I'm just letting y'all know we're probably gonna be in the show here pretty soon. Yeah. As we get ready to talk about this last topic, and I feel like I need to play some African music. Some, uh, I huh. mean, if you didn't have any queued up, maybe you should Hold just on. not. Let me see. Can I get some height? Can I get some? Can I get some Black Panther height? I don't, I don't know. You can try. 
It's yeah. true. Maya, Maya could be in sales. Hando, you're right. She's a sales person if I ever met one. What Kendrick Lamar is doing the soundtrack for Black Panther? Black Panther? That I did not know. This is five days ago. What? What? When is this coming out? February 9th. There you oh, go. Oh, man. Boom. Dude. Is that? Oh, man. I hope it's good. Oh, all right. Here we go. Maybe. Here we go. Oh, what? Is there a song that's out already? Where's the volume? Is it- So yeah, Black Panther hype. Oh, everybody's so excited. And I am pumped. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think people understand the significance of this movie. It's like, oh, cool. He looks cool. No, this movie has a majority black cast. Mm -hmm. Superhero movie. First time ever. And it set a record for being the superhero movie that sold the most pre-sales. Yeah. What? All that is amazing, and I'm so pumped. And uh, the freaking um, premieres, what they were wearing was going to be life, and I just, it was great. Um, so we have the day off, so we're going to go see it at 1020. We already yes. bought tickets. Yes, yes. yes. So we're going to see it, and we're going to um, have it spend the day together. Yep, February 16th is officially Black Panther Day. Officially, from here until the end of time. And more power so. to... Uh, the white Christians that are going to be boycotting the movie. That oh. has a group set up. There's, there's even a group that says they're going to flood I, uh, IMDb. Oh, uh, Rotten no, Tomato. Yeah. With, Rotten with Tomato with bad. Negative reviews. Negative <gasps> reviews. Oh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. I wonder, but I got I got I got I got I'm wondering though. What? I wonder if you atheists flooded um, it when um, the, Je- the Jesus Crucified movie came no, out. I would hope not. Yeah. I'm, go- I'm, I just I'm, my I'm nose. gonna go with no. I just picked my nose on uh, on on the video. Surprise! We're live. Yeah, we're live. Like, eh, eh, eh. But I didn't eat it. Yeah. I don't eat them. I just flicked it on the floor. Ew. Got it back in the floor I now. never ate my boogers ever. I did maybe once or twice as a ever, kid. Ever, 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 ever. I'll admit it. I did it once as a kid. Never. I used, I used to lick my snot too. Now I go. Yeah. Yeah, you lick your snot. That. You done yeah. that. And when you go, when you when you snort in your nose. Yes, and it goes down the back of my throat. Yes. You eating that but too? Boogers are solid. I bet you there's been sometimes there's some solid boogers in those things. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there have. Okay. Shut up. You ate. But not knowingly. Boogers. Okay. Fair enough. But, yeah. So, if you guys want to reach us, you can email us at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. That is thevalentinecast at gmail.com. You can see our blog and other things that are going on. Really, just the shows. Well, we probably, it is really just the We show. probably should start At one putting, time, we used to put other stuff we, on there. You know what? Maybe we should sometimes. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we feel like it. There's some pictures could, up there if we do something. That's something we could think about. Change up some stuff. You know. Make our <laughs> blog more than just the show. <laughs> you can see that stuff at valentinecast.com. The podcast Twitter feed is ValentineCast. Remember, on Mondays, make sure you are following us so that you know when we're about to go live. But we'll try to give a 10-minute warning before we go live. Facebook page. Where's the Facebook page? It is Facebook. Facebook. Facebook.com slash Valentine Cast. Videos of this and previous episodes can be seen at youtube.com slash Valentine Cast. Jay's Twitter feed is the Cowboy. That's T H E C A O B O I. 
And my Twitter feed is the Ice Flow. Yeah, so huge thanks to Pretty Lights Music and also the Andrew Allen Trio for allowing us to use their music throughout the episode. Um, much thanks to those folks. So go get them the support. Um, yeah, so next week we will see you guys. And thank you so much, Hando, Eric, and all you silent viewers out there. Bye, but, everyone. Bye.